Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Now, in the past few days, one of the most buzzing news on COVID-19 treatment is a UK nurse reportedly recovered from COVID-19 coma after receiving Viagra. Lo, 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 sing a happy song. Well, it is pretty well known that Viagra is used to treat erectile dysfunction. Lo, 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 lo. I'm a blue miracle. Is that really a blue miracle? What else does Viagra do? And why is there a hypothesis saying Viagra may help severe 19 condition? Let's find out. Hey, Papa Smurf, we don't need you here anymore. Let's first look at some background of Viagra. Now, Viagra is the brand name. The active ingredient is known as Sildenafil. The US FDA approved Sildenafil for treating erectile dysfunction in 1998. Now, but during the early development phase, Sildenafil was studied to treat hyperpressure and chest pain. It was believed that Sildenafil could help relax the muscle layer surrounding the arterial blood vessels and help the blood vessel to widen so that the blood pressure would drop and also improve chest pain. But during clinical trials, the drug did very little to improve chest pain. Instead, many male participants reported having an erection as one of the common side effects. Pfizer scientists quickly realized the drug acts specifically in penile tissue and significantly improved blood flow in that area. So what's more about Viagra? Sildenafil is also used to treat pulmonary hypertension in adult male and female patients. It is a condition of increased pressure within the arteries of the lungs. Sildenafil helps increase the level of nitric oxide in cells lining the interior of the blood vessel. Nitric oxide can then tell the blood vessel muscle to relax and decrease the pressure. Because of this property, it was hypothesized that nitric oxide or compounds that can increase the level of nitric oxide in the body might potentially widen the blood vessel in the lung helping oxygen circulating and may help COVID patients with respiratory challenges. So are there any studies to test this hypothesis? A small study conducted by Mayo Clinic in Florida tested to see inhaled nitric oxide could improve COVID-19 patient outcomes. Although the study saw the group on inhaled nitric oxide had a trend of decreasing the time staying in the hospital and less frequent use of mechanical ventilation, the result was not statistically significant due to the small sample size. They also did not see any harmful effect from inhaled nitric oxide. A recent study published at the beginning of January studied how sildenafil would affect the outcomes of hospitalized COVID-19 patients. Again, it was a small study with 40 participants randomized in the placebo and the treatment group. Most of the participants were male with a median age of 57. The study did not find any statistically significant differences in oxygen level status between the two groups, but they did see small but significant differences in the secondary outcomes. None of the patients in Sardenafil group required invasive mechanical ventilation. They also had a shorter average length of hospital stay than the placebo group. The study concluded that a large-scale study is needed to confirm these results. What about lifestyle? The cells lining our blood vessels produce nitric oxide in our bodies, and SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus can damage these cells and have a negative impact on nitric oxide production. Professor Jun Kobayashi of Josai University in Japan, an expert of nitric oxide research, suggested several lifestyle factors that can improve or boost nitric oxide level and may be helpful to stall COVID-19 progression. Number 1. Nitrate-rich diet In Professor Kobayashi's article, he suggested that nitrate-rich diets such as beetroot, spinach, and combined with saliva secretion during frequent chewing, oral commensal bacteria, 
and acidic environment in the stomach are essential to boost nitric oxide level through the interaction between the salivary gland and the nitrate, nitrite, nitric oxide pathway. To have some beetroot at home. But I don't really know how to cook it, so please leave me some comment if you know some great recipe for it. And number two, physical exercise. So the benefit of physical exercise is not a secret at all. But besides help maintaining a healthy body weight, aerobic physical activities such as walking and jogging can help to enhance the protein level of endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which increase nitric oxide production. Now some studies suggest these nitric oxide mediated mechanisms may help to prevent or delay COVID-19 complications. Number three, breathing through your nose. Some old studies have shown that breathing through the nose generated a higher level of nitric oxide in respiratory tract than mouth breathers. Interestingly, a small study done by Sweden researchers 20 years ago find that oscillating airflow produced by humming greatly increases nitric oxide level in the nasal cavity in a small study with healthy individuals. I like to conclude this video by saying nitric oxide is known to widen blood vessel, but right now we don't have enough evidence to draw a definitive connection between nitric oxide or Viagra and COVID-19. I hope this video is informational and a little bit fun to watch. And please consider hitting the subscribe button to follow for more content. And I'll see you in my next video next Sunday. And meanwhile, please stay safe, healthy, and take care. Bye.